Yu Gi Sama is the new King of Marlow. Here's why. In a spot, like big booty, I know that I smack, yeah, they lose me. Bet you hop with the V and I fell three. We're here at EBN Artist Next Up, but we dive into the next to watch. Okay, so we're into DD Osama. Now, DD Osama is an artist coming out of Harlem, New York. Now, I'm gonna tell you why I believe he's the artist next up and artist to watch. Marketability. Okay, look at look at look at the kid. Now I'm not here to tell you who gangster, who not gangster. That's not what my positioning is. Okay, just in case you want, you want to find, you, you asking. That's not my positioning. Okay, it's not you know who gangster, who not gangster. I'm just letting you know that the marketability aspect, and that you look at him, you don't see an immediately threatening individual. You know what I'm saying? Like like where the women are gonna look at him and be like, oh snap, he a light skinned kid with hair, and then when he grows up because he's so young. He's definitely gonna mature into the, uh, the 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 you know you ever been on Facebook they were around Facebook around like 2000 and like and like what is this uh, 2015 I think around time like Devin Booker was coming up right you could not go on Facebook without seeing a picture of Devin Booker you know what I'm saying like 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 uh, uh do you catch what I'm do you get from Kelly Oubre uh, Jason Tatum do you get where I'm going with this do, are you picking up what I'm putting down that's, that's all I'm trying to understand are you picking up what I'm putting down the marketability has to be there. Okay, and he's marketable. You know what I'm saying? He has that face, he has that look. And I don't necessarily think that he's gonna have to stay in drill music like a lot of other drill artists. He has that look to where he needs to expand and change the style, honestly, eventually. Cause you know, he, he, he's doing what, what his fans uh, probably want him to do right now. He's only really like six months in, which is ridiculous. Six months in, and he's going as far as he's going right now. You know, then the, the, there's a reason because of the marketability. It's not even necessarily what he's saying because I don't agree necessarily with the the dissing of, of the deads, you know, but once again, I'm not here to say who's gangster, who's not gangster. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not my position. In terms of the marketability, I can see that he can be pushed. So that's important when it comes to an artist being at the upper echelon and making it to that next level. Let's get to it. Say sorry, uh, big bro. <laughs> I look like a joke to you. What's up? Yo, and I'm trying to fish my life. I look like a joke to you. What's up with you? Vida, tell the s how I get. Yo, come to the middle. Know how I get. Nobody does this, bro. Nobody buys music on Apple, bro. All these songs is bought. Oh, you getting money. This was like, nah, I'm That's not like getting money. What you mean? You bought them songs. You still bro. scrolling, bro. Bro, this is like. Songs be like $10. 2010, 2008, 2009. Nah, you still scrolling. Look, bro. 2007. 2006. Now nah, you buying on the, you know, line wires. Bro, it? look, hold on. I know, but <laughs> Wildin', buddy. I don't know why my shit wasn't hitting like everybody else's. <laughs> so I was coming out of pocket. I'm like, nah, I'm listening nah, to that. I'm about to hold up. I'm not done. Yeah, that's like $2,000, bro. Next up, phonetics. The study and classification of speech sounds. Now, in case you didn't know what phonetics was, I just taught you something. You're welcome. EBN Music Media, we teach you things as well here at EBN Artist Next Up, but phonetics how you say things the flows that is important in today's music nowadays look at i just want to fry 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 i just want to fry 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 i just want to body yada yada you know what i'm saying uh, uh, uh. like like uzi maybe says eight words in the song like like sugar hill d dot put out miss my brothers now i was enjoying the song i heard the snippet on swayze i was like oh nah i, I want to go check this song out check the song out the song's a minute and 30 seconds and he repeats the hook a couple times i'm like damn can we get a longer song you know what i'm saying can we get a longer song like what's going on you understand so the phonetics though like it's not people tuning in because he's making eight minute songs they're tuning in because of how he sounds and the pain and what's going on and how the, and how it's delivered that's what i think people really care about nowadays i think that's what's giving Didi Osama a push as well in that his his voice and the fact that he's young and has gone through so much pain and you can hear it in the voice and I, I there's a song that he had another snippet as well uh I'm a so naughty uh, my song I just want to hug his body like I didn't really appreciate the people that was doubting him on that and didn't want him to release that I think that's what he actually needs to do and tap into that sound to be able to get to that next level and be able to to move past drill like i this might be a strong statement but i think he can do what for pot smoke did in terms of transcending the drill scene in a different way he just has to get past the the, the anger of it all and and get to a point where he can you know care about the artistry and you know and really expand into a different way because of the fact that he is marketable marketability is a big thing when it comes to being an artist Let's get to it. 
I'm sorry, metaphors are no longer the best way to level up your songwriting. It is phonetics now. Phonetics are in, metaphors are out. Uh, phonetics being the way your lyrics or words flow as they're coming out of your mouth. Um, there's different mouth shapes that you make when you're singing or talking, and making sure that these mouth shapes flow naturally one into the other is crucial for not only being able to perform your song naturally, but for other people to be able to sing along with you and be able to naturally replicate those sounds with their own mouths. I ain't gonna care. It was, it was a crazy time, but I used to go to yeah. um, Zoomies and get all the options. No, together. all the donuts. I got donut shirts too. <laughs> that was a vibe. Any of them. I wish I still had them, but well, I got one. I be That's losing so clothes. I don't know. I don't know where the clothes be going and they, they be disappearing. I'm like, where'd it go? I had dope uh, future shit too. Like I had at least like five or six shirts. Like, yeah. Okay. Like, angry. like I'd be forgetting about it sometimes. But yeah. Really about it. Nah, he's a goat. Next up, his numbness to fame. Now, I think that he can get to a point where he has all the money, all the riches, and all the the results of his hard work and he probably would still look like damn i either want more or it doesn't feel like anything now that can be very depressing i'm not gonna lie to you like it sounded sad as i said it but he said i was on mouth at times during interviews and one that 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 it just doesn't hit the same without his brother and and i can i can feel him to where it's like you know you was coming up with somebody and you can't really uh, you know, live that life to where you want to live with them and, and whether it just be distance or be something that tragic uh, actually happens, you know? So that's unfortunate where, you know, he's at, he's at a point where he has that story and it allowed the, the, the people and the masses to gravitate towards him and, and, and youth gravitate towards him and just put him on that pedestal to where they're, they're, they're okay with watching him grow and learn. And he's at such a young age that he has the time to grow and learn. And a lot of people don't get to the point he's gotten to already and he doesn't even really care about it as much as maybe the average individual would and that's also good for a person to have the thought process to have you know you gotta really be dumb to it because if you if you kind of wallow on every single accomplishment or wallow on everything you're just gonna get content you know and you don't want to be content you know you want to always kind of grind for more especially in this type of lifestyle that people live especially rappers and people in that type of field and arena you want to be able to get, get to get to the most money possible you got to hustle and you got to you got to grind you got to build your name and build that brand so that you can get to a point that maybe you could chill you know or maybe you don't want to chill maybe that maybe you, you like working some people like working everybody be complaining about working ah, i hate working ah working 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 gets a mountain to the bottle like ah, i hate working you know what i'm saying but but do you like money Green cheese guacamole because I ain't gonna lie, I like my guacamole, you know what I'm saying? I, I enjoy my guac, you feel me? With, with, with some chips, avocado uh, chips, they got those, it's fine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get to it. World kept going faster after bro died, that's what happened. Money, money, the fame, all of this shit don't phase me. It don't feel like it's how it's supposed to feel. It's supposed to feel good about it, it's supposed to be with bro. All right, what's, the, what's the worst you got beat up? <laughs> The worst I got beat up, probably the Spider Cuz one. I ain't gonna say it really? to you. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. I didn't think it was gonna be that one. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Spider Cuz one. Just cause like the bruise and all that shit type shit. Yeah, that was it. Was bad, bro. Nah, two week bruise is nuts. I ain't gonna lie. Next up, his story is incredibly raw. The unfortunate passing of his brother in New York. The gritty grind of his lifestyle is believable because it's real. And that is something that you hear people like Bobby Shmurda condemning the fact that a lot of people are not real. And you you just see a lot of situations happening in hip hop on, 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 a, on a yearly basis. But even going back to, to Lil Tecca, you know, I got black and got, I got white what you want. And then going on Jesus to say he don't got no straps for nobody, you know, which is which is good. Rap cap. You know what I'm saying? Lil Tech probably living his best life. Remember, rap capping. He, he not out here committing crimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not advocating for committing crimes either. You know what I'm saying? But the story is real though. You know, and and it's it's something you can't fabricate. And people from New York live a different type of life than people from other places. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely a, a, a way for you to to say, damn. You look at this individual that's clearly still has a lot of life to live, and has gone through so much. Like that's gonna turn you into a into a a different type of individual in the brain and, and that is something that is just 
people love to dissect. Like, people would love to dissect the brain of a person that is insane. Like, how many documentaries on Netflix? You, you, you see the, 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 the Netflix guy, um, the Tinder Swindler. Um, you got the, um, the Tinder, the, 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 the Tinder, the Swindle, the Swindle Tindlers, and then the, um, the guy, the, the, the Jeffrey Dahmer's, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they all, they, they in love with the crazy people. They in love with the crazy people. You feel me? So, hey, I, he has that story that people gonna be like, oh, nah, he, his real life is being on the track right now. This is real life pain. Like, once he leaves the mic, he's still in his real life. Which a lot of y'all don't, you know, forget. You know what I'm saying? Once they leave the mic, they still, they, you know what I'm saying? They living what they living. <laughs> you understand? But, hey, man, the story is real and that's what people can get behind authenticness. And I think that's what's gonna also help him propel in his career. Let's get into it. And I'm a slow naughty on the set. I just want to hug his body. Thinking about him, make me want to catch a homie. But I'm a star, so I said, hit us to your lobbies. The music I make people say I'm trying to be like Tyler Crater in, in my interview style. People think I'm trying to be Nardwar, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you remind me of Nardwar. And the thing is, this isn't even, this is me. This yeah. is this is me yeah. being more yeah. of myself than, than a, if you were to see like my other interviews. Where I'm right. even more like high energy, and mm -hmm. people can compare me to Narwar more mm -hmm. so there than mm -hmm. even when I'm doing this type of interview style. Now this man, Didi Osama, has a grip on the youth and a grip on women. Now at such a young age, he has the qualities of a superstar. Now let me tell you why. The superstar qualities are if women want you and men want to be you. Now that can be baseline, okay? That can be baseline, but there's a lot of people that that does not resonate with and i'm not talking about because of what you okay so say say you have a lot of money okay but you may not be the most attractive individual in the world men may not necessarily want to be you because women are going to always have something against you because you're not an attractive looking dude you know like yeah women can use you for your money but if people can obviously tell you're not attractive it's going to it's gonna, it's gonna hinder on your on your growth. You know what I'm saying? But if you're a guy that you fit that box that women want to be you to where like if they find you that attractive, they will thirst for you. Women will literally thirst for you if they find you a certain level of attractive. Okay. And if men want to be you because women want you and say you have money, so now you're attractive with money, men will want you as well. Oh pause. But men will want to be you as well. You know what I'm saying? But both. Pause. But you know what I'm saying? Both. You know? So that is really the true qualities of a superstar, and I think that he definitely has those superstar qualities and he has that grip on the youth to where they be looking at him like yo i want to be you didi osama because look he's like you know this is me guessing i don't know you know say between the ages of 14 and 17 you know what i'm saying like they're still looking at him like wow you this young and it really only happened in six months i seen i seen some analytics it said about six months ago the man has 61 subscribers the man has 61 subscribers. That's ridiculous. <laughs> he has over 100,000 subscribers now, to my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Over, over, over 15 million views on YouTube at the at, 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 at age between 14 and 17. I, I was really like looking up like different young boy stats and trying to compare the compare them and see what young boy was doing. Like young boy has some videos with over uh, like 600,000 views about six seven years ago when they was around the same age. And I was really comparing it. Cause I'm like, yo, like this man has such a grip on the youth at a young age. As long as he can continue to grow and and, and climb, he's gonna get to a point where it's like, yo. These numbers is going to keep looking ridiculous, <laughs> you know, I, and I just think he, he, he has to recognize the power that he may have. And what you need to do is understand that. Let's get into it. Like, you got to really step your game up. You got to step your game up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anybody around you just saying, yeah, this shit fire or you just don't care because you know your shit going to do views or whatever. But you got to really step your game up. All right, we got various eats because mm -hmm. we eat real uniquely over here. Okay. okay? That's, that's one of the taglines. Eat uniquely because we get down and dirty with those. Eat uniquely. We eat, we eat uniquely because we get down and dirty with those. Eat, we eat uniquely because we get down and dirty with those. Expeditiously. Expeditiously. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying to show you. you feel me? So the cosigns are absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Drake. 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 Got Drake flex. You know what I'm saying? That's different. That's different. That's different. Six, in six months, you got a Drake. That's six months, you got a Drake cosign. Come on. <laughs> like, what more else must need to be said? Like, and I don't even think Drake enjoys the music. <laughs> I'm not even really going to sit here and say that Drake, I, 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 that Drake tapped in with you because he very much enjoys the music. I think that Drake shows love. And I think that Drake is showing love to Didi Osama to be so young and 
honestly have an ability to rap and that's why i even say that he's an artist to watch because once he's able to garner enough money the violence will be a thing of the past eventually you know the violence will not be something as long as you don't put yourself in it then you won't necessarily be around it as much so you have to see in the future i like to look in the future and see what a person's life would be like if they actually were able to change you know and grow and build and i and, and then that kind of just comes down to the talent level you know if you can't if you can't write about your surroundings at all times if your surroundings improve then you're gonna keep rap rapping about the struggle if you're not in the struggle you gotta find something else to rap about or or stop projecting the struggle you know what I'm saying? if you're not in the struggle start right about the struggle you know what I'm saying? don't project the struggle if you're not in struggle so you go but i just think he has a talent to where he can be able to do different type of stuff so that's important when it comes to being an artist next up and and, and growing you know you got to be able to show that you can grow later and i can see in the later I, you, you understand that yo right now i'm talking it's in the future this is the like this is the past as i'm talking it's the past they, what is the what is present did i even open any presents what you should have been opening was some why say ebn music media we also got uh, another sector called ebn wear you know we you know we do we sell fragrances you know what I'm saying? Did you open this as a print as a present? You should though. Link in the description. You gotta get down and dirty with these, I'm trying to. gotta get down and dirty. You gotta get hot. See me, I'm like that. I'm putting it on top of that, John. I'm putting it on All top right. of that, John. You All see right. that? You see that? I'm like that. I'm trying to show you. I'm like that. Ladies and gentlemen, that was EB and Artist Next Up. The Artist Next to watch DD Osama. Make sure you check out EB and Music Media on Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube, turn on the post notification bell so every time we drop a new damn video. Okay, make sure you go ahead and Check out all the links in the damn description. We also have EBN Music Media Digital and Print Magazine on the way first quarter of 2023. Take the journey. We outside. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L. Jass, and you're watching EBN Music Media. I hit it clear like I'm Taylor. Uh, dark in the glass like it's Taylor. Uh, Slip in the cold like I'm Taylor. Uh, don't give a fuck, I'm not Taylor. Uh, say what I want like I'm Taylor. My back kind of white like Taylor. Sweet. Taylor? Yeah.